Greetings, fellow Portal Masters. Boy, it's been a while. I haven't ranked anything in a while unless you count which fast food restaurant is the best one on Skip the Dishes. Spoiler, it's Wendy's. Get the chili cheese nachos. They're the greatest thing on the menu. Unlike Giants, they never disappoint. Great segue, I know. Giants is my least favorite in the franchise, but they did do something kind of great. Releasing Giant Skylanders. Eight new Giants were released with one from each element, giving us something unique for a brand new franchise. My only issue? Only a few of them are pretty perfect. Let's rank them. As always, I'm Crash Rouse of Crash of Skylands, and this is Every Giant Ranked from Worst to Best. Oh, this is my personal list, meaning I'm going to say things that you're not going to like. And that's fine, because opinions are pretty great. And I like opinions on this channel. It means we can talk about stuff, and I can chat with you in the comments and all that, so I appreciate that. But as long as you're respectful about it, it's pretty good to go. And I mean, we're talking about giants here, so the only big thing you should have is big respect for everybody out there. That was the whitest thing I've ever done, and I'm very upset about that. Let's just get into the video before I make everyone mad at me. But just respect each other, okay? For the love of God, just respect everybody. Number 8, Ninjini. Although she did well in Second Chance, Ninjini in the original game is extremely slow and clunky. I've never been a fan of the delay in her blades, and can never get used to her other set of moves. Majority of people really enjoy her, but for myself, even after a second chance, she can't be any further on this list. Number 7, Thumpback. Another clunky Skyliner, but with the range of that anchor, it makes him a bit better than Ninjini. Another Skyliner that I feel like is better used in future games than the one he started in. Thumpback has a huge following, but I'm not a part of it. Number 6, Crusher. He placed on my disappointing list 5 years ago, and after the debut of the Honesty Half Hour, he got a bit better. Keyword, a bit. Overall still sluggish, but upgrades make him way better. Depending on the path you take, he becomes great, but compared to everyone else on this list, not that great. Plus, he uses his father's head as a weapon. Like, that sounds illegal. Number 5, Hothead. Looking at his overall moveset, it takes a special kind of someone to make this work. Myself, I can get a good feel for him, even rank him decently high during Honesty Half Hour's beginnings. But as I said like Crusher, compared to the rest on this list, he's great, but not perfect. Number 4, Boomer, I mean Bouncer. Mixing up his name numerous times aside, Bouncer is basically an upgraded trigger happy. As a fan of spam attacks, his gun hands make me extremely happy along with his rocket shots. The only downfall is the laser eyes, as I can never get them right, but as always, I'm playing with him wrong. Number 3, Swarm. A recent episode of Honesty Half Hour knocks Swarm down a bit as I realize I'm not a fan of his Wasp Swarm. Although his Wasp Swarm gets a million times better with a separate path, I prefer the other path. Making us decide between two paths that are both the pros and cons list isn't a good decision, but Swarm is one of the greatest overall Skylanders for that reason. Number 2, Tree Rex. Up there is one of the best starter pack Skylanders ever, Tree Rex once fully upgraded becomes a true force to be dealt with. A great variety of moves from his hammer arm to the range attack to his arm cannons, Tree Rex is one of the most favorite Skylanders to enter the game. Plus, Tree Pex is probably the best addition to an already great Skylander in the entire series. Number 1, Eyebrawl. Eyebrawl's insane slugging technique makes him number one for many reasons. While using a secondary move, he keeps on swinging while shooting lasers from his eye, hitting low range and higher up enemies. Plus, his Rise of Little Minions move works great for surrounding enemies, doing damage while using the same eye move. Eyebrawl is perhaps the best undead Skylander out there, and it's not hard to see why. And that's my list! Who's your favorite giant? Let me know in the comments below. Plus, if you're new here, I do a lot of other Skylander content, so check out the channel for more, and also in the description, I have a few friends who make some pretty dang good content too. But as always, I bid you farewell.